Good morning everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another Aloha Friday haul video. Um, so as you can see, I've been hauling quite a bit. I have, I guess because I've been home and I've started to get back into crafting and then some of my supplies either I can't find or um, I don't have, I never had it um, or it's not working anymore. So I've been shopping quite a bit. Um, so. These are just some of the things that have been coming in <clears throat> piecemeal, so I decided to do just one haul. Um, and some of them I've been waiting for for quite a while, and some of them I just recently got in. So let me just kind of show you what I got. Um, this came in actually over a week ago, and I forgot to show it, but I did get some bales. Um, these were ordered on Amazon, and I just needed silver and gold. This is so that um, when you make resin pieces you can or even other piece um other things you can attach this um the bale sorry it's not focusing see so you can um you can glue it here onto your piece and then make it into a charm so i i just ended up getting gold and silver because um then it doesn't matter but what chain i have i have it, something to match because I have to work on these projects that have just been sitting here, but I haven't been able to finish them because I needed the bales. So I have about like a half a dozen halfway done projects. So I'm getting a little anxious, like I just want to finish them. <clears throat> but then it's like, stop, go, stop, go. So um, the other thing that this, my order came in from AliExpress. So I had ordered these before I went to Japan, which is like... Um, February-ish I ordered them and they only came this week. Um, I think part of it is because they were shut down because of the virus but um, anyway so now all my orders are starting to trickle in so I'm hoping that um, I have more supplies to work with because I've been buying a lot on AliExpress. Okay so these are like Sakura um, shaped confetti. It's probably the easiest one to see. Um, so I got them in a few colors. <clears throat> I got pink and then this is like a white iridescent. And then I these look the same to me. Um, so I don't know if I ordered two by mistake or I thought one was blue. I'm guessing this one might be more blue. And then this one might be more purple. I don't know. But it doesn't look very good in this video. But they're clear. So I'm hoping that when they get put into the shaker, it'll look nicer. Anyway, so I got those. And then um, my phone is having a hard time focusing okay and then um this also, oh sorry they also gave me this um as a gift so it's like cross confetti like holographic cross confetti and then um then this order came in so this is actually what i've been waiting for for a while again i ordered this before i went to japan these are um bows <clears throat> that are shaker um dies so you can um, make the bow into a shaker. So I got two sizes because I wasn't sure how big they would be. I got the large and the small. I'll probably use the small a lot more than I would the large, but it's nice to have um, options. So I'm happy that those finally came in because I did start working on a bunch of shakers and I will share that with you once I finish them. I cut a lot of the pieces already, but I just haven't put them all together because sometimes I'm like I don't know what color sequence to put inside and so I, I just didn't <clears throat> finish them okay so this is um another thing that I hauled from AliExpress and um I'm wondering I thought I ordered two things from them and I don't know what the second one oh I know what it is okay never mind um so this is the jump rings that I needed I wanted um I needed to get the size 10 millimeter ones in order to do the tassels that Bona was doing her um, her tutorial on. And I thought I had that size, but when I pulled out all of my jump rings, it's just a little tad smaller. So it wasn't fitting all of the, um, the strips nicely. It wasn't laying nicely flat. So I ordered, um, I, I decided to get this box because it wasn't that expensive. There's a lot that comes in it. And then it comes in different colors, which is what kind of appealed to me. So, and in addition, you get the gold, um, silver, and then like a rose gold. So those you can always use anyway. But I kind of like it. And then it, it comes in a handy container. Um, so I thought that that was neat. And I made a bunch that I will share um, in another video. 
<clears throat> once I finish the final project. Um, cause that one's like, you gotta make the tassels, but you also gotta make the, um, the little embellishment. And uh, that was, I think it was Wandy, Wandy or Craft Purge. One of those, I've been watching them a lot. And, um, they made this really cute embellishment that I'll show you. I didn't finish them yet. Um, this, oh, sorry. This also, um, I ordered from Alex. I mean, not Ex AliExpress. I got this from Amazon. Um, and I had seen it and I regretted not ordering it, um, when I got my Frank Garcia haul, because he had it on his website, and um, I don't know what it is about these corner punches, but they don't always punch nicely after a while. So I have like a couple that I it doesn't always cut all the way. So I decided to get this one be mainly because it has like different options on the type of um, rounding that you want. So. Hopefully that works out well. I have no idea if it does or not, but I saw other people using it, so I thought maybe I'd give it a try. Um, as you can see, I have been getting back into punches. Um, I find that they are the easiest way for me to die cut stuff rather than um, busting out my machine. Um, that's like a workout for me <laughs> if I if I use my dies and it, you know, doesn't my plates die faster and everything. So. Um, it's just easier for me if I have punches. Now, that being said, I was on a mission to find the Red Heart um, Paper Shapers Punch. But um, buying online, you don't always know what size you're getting. So it said extra large, and believe me, this is extra large. So I ordered that, and I ordered the Star. Um, I got them both from Frantic Stamper, which I'm grateful that I could get it. But I there's another size that I wanted that I used to have before, and I just can't find it in my craft room. And it was a red punch like this, but it was a little bit smaller. So, um, I don't know where to get that from. I don't know. I can, I'm guessing that one is the large size since this is the extra large size. But anyway, I'm going to keep it. It's just, it takes up so much space. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm not liking it too much. But otherwise, I do like the fact that I can punch things out a lot faster than, um, getting out my die and my die cutting machine. Um, this is what I also got from... Um, frantic stamper. So I've been looking for this apricot and honey um, Prima pad like a lot. Um, I I saw it on um, Simon's stamp, but I'm a little hesitant to order from Simon's stamp right now because I know that there's a delay um, But I ordered I placed an order before I went to Japan, which was back in February and a lot of the items I guess that I had ordered the, it said that it it was on reserve and it was supposed to come in in by the end of February. So that's why I ordered it. Um, and I did get a discount, but I didn't get it yet. And so that's like just as bad as China. Um, so I was hesitant to place another order until that one came in. So I'm, I'm still not sure what I'm going to be doing because I've been usually purchasing a lot through that site because it's like all in one but I'm a little discouraged because I just haven't gotten my order yet and to be honest I don't even remember what I ordered I know um I got the alcohol inks from Tim Holtz which I was dying to play with at the beginning of this but now I'm like into other stuff and then um I think it was the Heidi Swap toner ink that I was that didn't come in on time so they hold your whole order until then so anyway, get back, getting back to the paper pad, I didn't want to order it through them right now because I'm not happy with how long I have to wait. So um, since I was placing an order with Frantic Stamper, and she's a small company, so I'd rather, I, uh, not rather, but I, I'd like to support small companies as well. So um, she had the, the paper pad that I wanted in the size that I wanted. I kind of like this A4 size because it's it's almost like an 8 and a half by 11 but it, it's bigger than the 6x6, six six. and the 6x6 six six is, um, sometimes the print is shrunk on it, which is good and bad, um, but, and then sometimes you just need a little bit more than a 6x6 six six paper. So I'm kind of liking this A4 size, um, rather than even the 12x12, because 12 12, sometimes the 12x12, 12 12, it's too big, um, and it's harder to work with. So, anyway, I, I do love the prints that came in this, let me, sorry, not handle, but um, I'm moving the thing around. And so I think it's kind of nice. Like I really 
like it compared to some of the other um, Prima patterns. So getting back into my shabby chicness, as you can tell. And then this one, um, I saw other people using this. I think it was Tamika, I'm pretty sure. And um, this came out, I think, when I wasn't into crafting too much. So I missed out on it. So since I saw it on Frantic Stamper, um, I decided to pick it up since I was already placing an order. So this one is really um, light colored, light shabby color. Um, the Minte that I got is more bright colors. This is more subdued, almost like you whitewashed it um, yourself. So um, I, I really like a lot of the designs, um, especially like though that musical one is good for like backgrounds. Um, these are really good. Like I find when I don't know what to do with it, um, like if it's a big design like this and you have a hard time cutting it apart, you know, what? it really works well when you do like embellishment stuff. So I've been using a lot of their papers to make embellishments. Um, and I'm having so much fun because I'm building my stash and I'm getting use out of the papers. And so um, that was my frantic stamper haul. See, there's more. Um, then I got this in yesterday. So this, it didn't come in this bag, but um, I had ordered these. Put the camera down. <clears throat> I had ordered these. Um, sorry, I gotta move the camera. Uh, okay, so these are. Um, what is it called? Key rings. Like stainless steel kind of key rings. And I, the thing I liked about them is that they're um, they're heavy duty, but they're also like you can unscrew it. So that's how you get your keys on and off. And I find that um, with the regular key rings, they, um, they kind of ruin my nails. So I, I kind of like this option and that it's thin enough where you can slide it through stuff. Um, like like these bales, you know, with no problem. So I'm hoping that um, that these will be a good option for me when I make stuff for other people. And I like the fact that they come in colors. So I got um, pink. I was hoping the pink was a little lighter, but it's kind of bright. Um, pink, turquoise, white, and black, because I figure those will hit most of the color families. And then I also got the stainless steel which I like it, but I wish, I thought it would be a little bit longer, like bigger hoops like these. Um, so this one was a lot smaller, but I, I, I'm sure I can still use it. So I kind of like those, like I was happy with that. And I found like other um, vendors on AliExpress that carry um, the same kind of painted looking um, key rings, like the, I mean, key chains, so the hook part. Um, which I kind of like too. So I, I didn't order those yet, but maybe I will. Okay, and then finally, um, I got some stamps and dies. This is actually a dice. I don't know if I shared this already, but I got the die set from Queen and Company because I ordered the shaker set for, I think it's called Sweet Treats. And um, the thing that's missing from the kit when you buy the whole kit is these, these are the backing dies. So if you want to make it like a standalone embellishment, I think that's what these are for and hopefully they fit. I didn't test it, um, but then I can make it like it doesn't have to stick to something or you don't have to cut it out of a paper and then stick the foam on top. You can just make it your own embellishment. I don't know if you understand that, but when I do it, I will show you what I mean. <laughs> And then finally, oh my god, I'm so happy with this. This is um, my favorite purchase so far. I, um, If you're not following F Mama Elephant or Craft Musubi, which is Rina on Instagram, um, they were showing all the new releases for Mama Elephant for this month, and I just fell in love. Oh my god, they've been teasing this boba set for a while, and I couldn't wait till it came out. So it finally was released last week. Tuesday and I just I had to buy everything because it's so cute. So um, here's all the images, which I love animals and food. I don't know if you've ever seen my projects, but I always have animals and food in it. And I love the fact that you can put the happy faces on it as well. Um, and then they have the small, short looking boba cups and then the coordinating um, sentiments, which I also love. But in addition to that, I got the... Um, the die set which I don't normally do if you know me I usually freehand a lot of stuff but the reason I got it is because Rena showed that if you use this you can make it into a shaker <laughs> I am so excited so 
that's the main reason why I got this set. But in addition, they have a shaker set. So I had to get that, of course, too, right? So these are bigger boba cups. Um, but I like that you get this option of like the animal top. And then, um, and I think these are like faces. And then this is, the, you also get the whipped cream option, the bobas, and then like the happy face and stuff. So I'm like dying. This is so me. Like I wish, oh, I wish more companies would make this kind of stuff. So I'm super happy that Mama Elephant did. And then you got to check out Rena's samples because that like put me over the top. Like I was, every day I was like, oh my God, is it on the site yet? I want to order it. I want to order it. And then I was like torn. Like, where to order it from? Like, who's going to get it to me the fastest? <laughs> so I was a little hesitant, hesitant because Mama Elephant, I think, is out of New York. And I ordered it directly from them. But um, I was worried that it would be delayed because of what's happening in New York now. But I got my order pretty quickly. Like, it came in a week. Um, okay, and then the last dye that I want to share is the Slimline um, Basics. So this is like... Uh, um, it's for the long book cards <clears throat> that are trending now. So I think Pink Paisley, I think they're the other company that has these slimline dyes. And it's actually pretty easy to do on your own. The main one I wanted was this um, scallop frame looking dye. And um, Rena, she's so smart. She made a shaker out of it. So if you leave this um, or you line up the inside, um, the one that you would like mat it with, then you can create like a frame. So, and then this one here will create the three circles in the frame, and then you get the speech bubbles. So I'm, I'm wondering if I cut them all out at the same time, like if I don't disconnect them, like if each part will still be usable. I think it will be, which I'm gonna try. I didn't really watch that part of her video, so I'm hoping that it'll explain it. And then it also comes with like the border die so that you can make I guess this cool thing is that it's long enough so you can make the clouds go through the holes or it can fit the whole slim line area and then this is like a hill. <clears throat> so I'm kind of interested in doing like different shaped cards because you always get stuck doing like A2s. Um, so hopefully that I, it's a lot longer than I thought it would be so I'm not sure um, like what size paper I have to use. If I can use 8.5 by 11 I'm not sure I gotta check. But anyway, I still like it, so um, I'm ha very happy with all of my purchases. Yay! And I can fit. I told my husband this is the weekend where I'm gonna finish a lot of the um, projects that I've been working on. And so the only thing that I'm waiting for that I hope comes today is my crocodile because I shared with you guys that my crocodile died. Um, but anyway, so that is my pretty epic haul. Um, it's just a lot of small purchases from all over the place. I'm super happy that all my AliExpress stuff are starting to come in so that I can start um, like using more embellishments and stuff that I haven't been buying that everybody has already purchased. Like I think I have an order of like pom-poms coming in and um, what else? Pom-poms. I know I have a lot of like sequins and then I have like pearls and um, I don't know if I, I don't think I ordered the seed beads yet, but they're in my cart. And then I got a bunch of like resin pieces. I got a bunch of resin supplies. Hopefully that comes in soon. So anyway, um, I don't know if anyone's interested in my rambling, but um, hope your guys' packages are coming in. I got excited when I started seeing everybody getting their AliExpress stuff in. So um, I'm hoping to get more and more packages, but until then, Hope you guys stay safe. Um, we can do this. I'm so happy to get back into crafting because at least it gives me something to do. Okay, take care you guys and have a great weekend. Bye.